Yo, what is going on? Again, from my basement. It should not be a surprise. I really don't like this place as much as I should. But anyway, enough of that. The ESP32. We're gonna do another project with this little guy. I've kept it on the breadboard. Again, this project is a pretty simple setup. We're gonna be using this little screen here. And we're gonna be connecting it up with some wires. So let's get to it. First, I'm just going to slot this in. Let's say 35 to 31. It's right up in the breadboard. We have four pins. The ground, power, the clock, and the data. So, let's just get the circuit set up. We got the red. We're going to do the constant 3 volts, 3.3 volts. That's 3v3. So it's just going to supply constant power into the VCC. And we're going to ground it. Quite get in focus there. That's all right though. Put the black wire to ground. And that too. Ground on the screen. And then we just have these two cables. I arbitrarily picked colors. Doesn't really matter. Um, we're going to be connecting the. SDA to GPIO 21. So what is that? D21 right here. That's SDA. SDA 221. And then the SLC. Excuse me, guys. A little crowded in there. The SLC will be going to GPIO 22. D21, SLC, SDA. It's the clock and the power. And that's really it. We're going to hook this up to the micro USB and bring it to the IDE. Okay. Now that we have the screen set up to the ESP32, we need to program it so that it can display something. Uh, we'll just go with Hello World for now. Very classic. So, first, we're going to need to include the necessary libraries.
So the Adafruit GFX and Adafruit SSD are for controlling the display of the little LED. And the wire.h is for the communication. Now we're gonna need to define some things. Screen width, screen height, reset, screen address. So let's just define some things. Now it's a 0 0.96 inch OLED screen. So that is how I know So screen width and height, set the size. O OLED reset is set to minus one uh, as we are not using the reset pin. And screen address uh, is the address of the OLED display. Now we're going to have to create the display object. Uh, this initializes the display with the specific width, height, interface, and reset pin. So now we get to the sort of meat and potatoes, and that is setting up the setup function.
So, I did a lot just there. Dis display dot begin. That initializes the display. If initialization fails, it prints the error message and stops the program. So, allocation fail. Delayed it for two seconds. On the delay, 2000. Display, clear display, clears the buffer. Display set text size, sets the text size. Display set color, sets the color to white. Display set cursor, sets the starting position for the text, 0, 0. Then, display print, hello world, that's what's going to be written on the screen. And then display display updates the display with the new content. Okay, so not quite done yet. We're gonna add a loop statement at the end here, just for old shits and gigs. Uh, we can add future functionality here as we move forward with this project. Right, because clearly I'm building up to something here. So let's verify this. Did I forget a semicolon? Did I forget a parenthesis? Did I not download a directory? Wire.h. I did not download a directory. Or, uh, yeah. So give me one moment here. All right, we're back. I just had to install some libraries. I had thought I had already pre-installed them. You do that by going here and just searching whatever library you need. And I fixed up some of the, just some of the names of some of the things. Uh, oh, and I added annotation for myself, just some notes. So we know what everything does. The setup initializes the display here and also has the error message here, allocation failed. Clears the buffer, set the text size and color and position, these three things here, and then display the message. And then we'll have a loop for later. So we upload. All right, All right it's displaying on the screen and I will bring you to the camera. So here we have the screen, plug it in. And there it says, hello world. 